What about this dude there hanging in midair? That's not right. <laughs> Look at this bot up there. It's a dead bot, but it's flying in the middle of the air. Like, it do it's, not, it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. What the heck? <laughs> oh man, things are going on really weird right now. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the second part of this test server video this weekend here. With, as promised, all the new weapons and bots, as you can see right here. We have the new weapon Ion, uh, which is basically a uh, medium Zeus. We have the new uh, weapon Ballista, which is basically a medium trebuchet. Um, and then we have the Mercury bot and the Pursuit. Uh, the Pursuer is like a super light uh, bot with three light weapons, mostly Gust. A very special ability of stealth and sprint at the same time. While the Mercury has the ability to jump and trigger uh, an instant landing that does, uh, that does 26,000 damage. All right. And of course we have the new weapons that I want to show you right away. I mounted them to the dock. Which means we have both of them combined on one robot, right? Here we go, Beacon Rush on Canyon. Let's start off with the long-range weapons right here on this dock. This is what they look like. Like, the design is pretty neat, of course, and uh, also the trebuchet, uh, the medium version here, uh, it charges up same as uh, the, the, the large trebuchet does, um, but it charges in green instead of yellow, so that's the difference here. Uh, you can already see <laughs> the sprinting Hellburner in the background there. I'm, I don't have a Hellburner inside because I think we already saw this one a couple of times. Boom! See, that was the maximum amount of damage we've done with two times medium trebuchet called Ballista now. And it really was confusing to me because I thought Ballista sounds like, uh, I don't know, sounds like a projectile to me. Because normally a Ballista fires a giant lance or an arrow that, and the name already suggests ballistic almost, right? So that's what I thought it would be. Um, so switch off to Ion here and uh, fire as soon as we have a chance into his side. Here, it looks very similar to Zeus, but it has like a different color of lightning. And, uh, and there he goes. Uh, in terms of damage output, to me personally, I think that the Ballista um, does a very low amount of damage considering it has three, a third, a 23 seconds reload, like a very long reload. Considering this, I think it could deal more damage. Look at this, switching over, boom. Well, okay, we couldn't show you the maximum amount of damage because he was down after that one hit. <laughs> but I'm going to show this to you now in a few seconds, okay? 23 three seconds reload. You see, we're still reloading. We only have reloaded half half of what uh, what we can fire um, and considering this considering also we're firing at light bots mostly uh, look at the amount of damage we're going to do hold on and foosh that is not really much for a 23 second reload uh, that we had prior to this right um, and you know maybe it will just uh, have to I don't know be a little bit what is going on why is everyone rushing me look everyone is here now what the heck everyone ah I, I had a little tiny little place for my own which I held there for myself and everyone came around and whooped me man what the heck all right so we have a mercury coming in there um, that I'm gonna jump on and I'm gonna trigger the landing right here boom see that that's the ability here you can you also have a four second stealth after all this um, uh, no, he changed his direction super quick. I did not expect that. Um, yeah, so... Oh, and there is the hell burn. You can see my health now. It will explode, and I lose a lot of health. And when you kill him, he explodes again, and you lose again a lot of health. The Hellburner is uh, a messed up machine, if you ask me. Uh, you have them running around all the time at your face, exploding all the time at your face, and shooting at you at the same time. And when you kill them, they explode. When you don't kill them, they explode. And no matter what you do, they're just gonna kill you. Uh, and there's little you can do about it. So who is the guy who's firing all those things at me? Okay, here we go. Oh, that got me. That even got me there. Wow. Didn't think that was gonna get me, but he did. <laughs> uh, I thought I was far enough away from his Mercury explosion. Oh, we do have a Hellburner here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna show this to you right now. Uh, we're running. You see, there's a... On the ground, there's an indicator showing uh, basically the explosion radius. And see the amount of damage he's just taken? That is from the explosion. I can trigger that immediately again. And I only take a very low amount of damage from the blast. Uh, and as soon as I, uh, you know, see there it is, boom. And there is, a very, um, I take a little bit of damage from uh, myself from the same explosion, um, but it's nowhere near as much as uh, the enemy takes. Um, here we go, and boom, we're between these people. I was between both of them uh, when I exploded, so both of them took damage. And uh, here's this other guy, 
and he wants to run away and see I got I got him hit with a full explosion there you couldn't see the damage anymore but that was the case see I just spawned and this guy did that did the same thing to me it is very chaotic so that's why I say this is a very messed up uh, thing because it's v super chaotic to uh, yeah to have these these um, these suicide bots inside uh, they they really make this game very chaotic you don't really know what's going on they're running around you around so quick Oh, he's gonna do this to me, isn't he? Oh, okay, he wanted to do the explosion, but yeah, that's it. The round is pretty much almost over already. I ran through all my bots because I was not running a Lancelot or something like with a lot of health. I was trying to show you the new weapons and the new bots in action. I believe I've been able to do so, but we're gonna jump into another round uh, immediately after show you the stats of this one here. So there, oh wonder, who would have guessed we lost this one? I've done 730,000 damage, all level equipment is locked to level 8 as you know. And um, yeah, so that was the round. I want to show you something here that I have not met mentioned yet, uh, the slots of the weapons. So the Mercury has um, two light weapons and one heavy weapon, plus this jump stealth ability that only has a 4 seconds stealth though after the landing. Um, but with the ability to land and drop with a 26,000 damage and of course the higher level up the bot the more it will get and then we have the uh, the pursuer uh, with three times light weapons right and the um, the hellburner has one heavy and one light weapon so that is something I have not shown to you yet um, let's jump right into the next battle guys all right, so here we are on Power Plant with a Domination game mode, which may be a good choice because it's less chaotic now with these light bots spawning right next to you already with Beacon Rush, right? I think that might actually be a good thing. So let's do this. I'm spawning once again first in the dock as a longer range uh, bot, uh, just to be able to show a little bit more of this new, these new weapons in action. Um, 1,100 meters, same as Trebuchet. Foosh! Of course, of all the targets, right? Of all the targets that were available available door, uh, there, I of course had a, and got the uh, the Lancelot. Because I, I basically blindly fired into all those reds right there. And of course, the one guy I targeted was the Lancelot. Because the one that, because I think that's because this, this is the one guy who does not walk away from you. He's not trying to get away. So here we go, Zeus time. Zoop. He has already done a lot of damage to us with his geckos there. Uh, but now he's in range of our weapon. Ah, I see. He's going to do the Mercury jump now. Uh, I'm just gonna wait around the corner. Ah, hello. Ah, okay. Already destroyed. Boom. Big explosion. Is he gonna wait around the corner now? So, there. And boom. So, that was a relatively good amount of damage here. And I can just sit around the corner for a second and hide because he's going to be able to jump again. I already see two Lancelots walking my way. And you know my opinion about Lancelots on the test server. They're as powerful as two bots are. And I think they make it very hard to test the things that you want to test. Because they're just so, so defense, so so powerful and so much health. And, um, uh oh, here we go with aphid damage. Like everyone seems to run straight at me and target me. This guy has absolutely no other target, that is for sure. We've seen that from the beginning. And, um, yeah. There comes the Lancelot. And his rockets. And he comes all the way running around. You know what? This is my spawn here. So, uh, I'm here for you. So I have the stealth, abil uh, the stealth ability here for 10 seconds. That lasts very long. Um, and three light... It's basically a much more powerful stalker. It's a stalker with three um, with three light weapons and uh, and even faster, right? So that's a very very powerful thing. A premium stalker, if you will. <laughs> so let's run into the enemy right there. We have these these with the gust weapon. It's a very very powerful thing. Like it, it is so strong, it can even take out a Lancelot relatively well. Oh no, I don't want to get hit by that. I don't want to get hit by that explosion. I'm just gonna run away here. Problem is, once you take him out, he's also going to explode, see? And uh, and that makes it really hard to kill this guy without getting actual damage back. What do we have around the corner? We have a Mercury here and uh, and a little um, pursuer, pursuer. So the Mercury is no doubt going to try to jump on top of somebody with damage. See, here he comes. And uh, boom, explosion, and he got the other dude too. Um, I want to activate my stealth ability here, and now I can punish the, uh, the Mercury pretty good. Uh, with my speed and my stealth ability. And there is the other 
premium stalker running around. Oh, with three magnums. That's also a very... I think I should have equipped one of my uh, bots with a, with a magnums there. Uh-oh. I think I won't survive this. Will I? Will I be able to capture the beacon? That is the question. Will I? Yes, I am. I actually got the beacon still. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he had thermites. I thought he has trebuchets. Oh, the trebuchets are on the back and the thermites are on the other side. Aha. Okay. Because I saw the trebuchets, I'm like, okay, cool, man. You can't do anything to me. Cool. <laughs> and of course he could. He could easily do anything about me. So I want to get that fury right there. I'm going to try to counter the movement a little bit and fire. So we have, ah, of course, the target switches, and I don't see how much damage I've done. Oh, you want to come at me, huh? No, he's going the other way. Let's do the old Mercury jump, right? Here we go, and we're going to land right here. I can trigger this landing. Boom, boom. That's it. Nice. All right, so we're, tr we're having a 24-second reload on this whole stuff. Um... So hopefully we're fast enough. Yep, he got some good damage in. Uh, but he still has the shield, so if once he activates the shield, I'm pretty much uh, bound, uh, bummed there. I won't be able to... Oop! Hellburner got us. See, that's what I mean. These Hellburners are way too dominant now. You can even use the ability. Look look how much damage I get from using it myself. I'm so much faster, and I... Uh, of course, I get caught in this. Um, I only got a little bit of damage there. That's not really much. And I can fire, I have a shield or a heavy weapon alternatively if I want to. And uh, and I even bypass like the, the defense or this shield ability, it doesn't help you, right? Uh, the, the shield, the stealth ability doesn't help you against the explosion of the um, Hellburn either. So you can just run at somebody and just get it. And there's very little he can do about it. So let's get him here. He's got a very weird setup, trebuchets, oh, and he missed, you missed. Boom! See how much damage he got? Man, this is insane. And then we're firing at him with a light shotgun, running with this much speed. How would he ever be supposed... Like, this is a mobile game. You have to control and fire at them when they run around like this, and this on mobile controls? Like, this is insanely difficult, right? Let's not keep in mind, this is supposed to be a mobile game. How, how would you target somebody like that? You can't target them. Boom! Half his hit point is gone. And I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stay close to him. Oh no, you know, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stay close to him because once I explode, he's gonna be destroyed anyways, right? And I, I don't, I'm just not sure about the concept of the, um, of the Hellburner, to be honest, guys. It, it is an interesting idea, no, uh, no doubt, that you have a bot that can sacrifice itself. Um, but may, I, I would probably pr uh, prefer it to just kill, you know, go, if you kill it, it will have one big explosion at the end. Um, and that's that's it. Not no, not just constantly exploding in your face, like doing massive damage and shooting you uh, at the same time and having basically no drawback to just staying right close to you and doing the old uh, swing around with all the damage. So, let's run in here with this much speed. I think this is the fastest thing we have in this game. Uh, this Pursuer bot uh, with, with this ability here. It, it doesn't get faster than this. This is as fast as you can get. And this guy's trying to target me here with his Zeus. Uh, he's being surrounded by little pursuers, but of course only the other pursuers are allowed to, to enjoy his damage, and I'm the one who's, who's constantly looked at by the freaking double shielded. All right, here we go. Activate the ability, run around the corner. Okay, that Rhino can't really do much. Um, the shield is too slow. I'm already going for the next target, which was here around the corner. Also a stealth ability. Ah, okay. <laughs> We're having so many of them now. Nobody can fire at anyone. Yeah, he tried to hit me. Uh, but this is really hard to do. There we go. Any more else of you? Anyone? No? That's it? Alright, so I think uh, that was a re relatively accurate display of this test server this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. I might do some certain uh, setups, like maybe the Fujin, for example, with three times the uh, medium Zeus. That's something I want to do as a separate video, maybe. But this is, uh, as a summary of all the weapons, I think I've been able to show you most of the stuff. I've done more than a million damage, holy moly. 11 kills. I didn't even notice that we've done so many kills, <laughs> to be honest. Um... What is wrong with this weapon? It keeps firing all the time. Every time it has locked on, it keeps firing all by itself. See? But only a, like a potion of it. I don't want that. Please. I'm gonna unlock from my enemy now. 
And now I'm turning to them. Oh, it still fires. Are you kidding me? I can't prevent this weapon from firing. Even if I lock on to somebody, it will still fire at someone. What the heck? Probably once I switch back to the weapon, it will already open fire at somebody just instantly. Watch. Here. Bam. And now I switch. Yup. And it imme immediately opens fire. Even though I don't want to do that. Yeah, it fires half of its clip just all by itself. So there is a bug report right here, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want that weapon to fire so early, but it does anyways. Hmm. Every time it reloads now, it will fire. What's up with the bot in... <laughs> What's up with this dead bot in mid-air? Oh, he ever... Whoa, the weapon actually fires even though there's not even a target in sight. That is... That, normally, that can't even happen. That is not even possible. What about this dude there hanging in mid-air? That's not right. <laughs> Look at this bot up there. It's a dead bot, but it's flying in the middle of the air. Like, it do, it's, not, it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. What the heck? <laughs> oh, man. Things are going on really weird right now. But yeah, so... Uh, like I said, this this test server was in two phases. First phase, Friday or Saturday, was just the map, the new map carrier that I've shown you in the last video, and the second phase was all the new items. One thing I really need to so say as a feedback, I'm not personally a friend of so much, uh, you know, stealth ability. We have the stealth ability on the Pursuer, we have the stealth ability on the, on, the, uh, on the Spectre, we have it on the Starker, we have it on the Mercury, we have it on the Inquisitor, and I think that is getting a little bit out of control with how many stealth abilities are in the game. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I I think the the medium Zeus I like this idea because uh, it has uh, it might be able to counter a little bit the shock train that is going on right now even though the damage isn't as strong as the shock train is but I read an article that the shock train is actually receiving a nerf so let's see about that um, the medium version here this uh, this ballista weapon uh, oops uh, the the ballista weapon I meant um, of course is here the uh, the medium trebuchet, it does too little damage for 23 seconds reload, but at the same time I'm afraid they buff the damage and make it too strong afterwards, so hopefully they gotta find the right balance for a medium trebuchet that isn't going to do too much damage and, you know, screwing around with gameplay too much. Uh, Thermite we already saw in my other videos, I'm gonna link it to the video description and to the end of this video for you guys, so you can have it, um, have a video just with a Thermite, and uh, I, I like the Thermite as a, a heavy aphid uh, too, because it's, uh, it's a good addition and um, you can counter it by jumping running being fast and stuff like that that does work and like I said the hellburner guys I think this is getting this th this is completely destroying the game game uh, you know a gameplay kind of right it's just everyone's just running rah, around your face super quick exploding and you can kill them and they explode again and this is crazy uh, I think this this concept has to be reworked I don't think this is a good this would be a good and healthy release to the game so that was my feedback I'm gonna also give it to you guys in the comment section of the video as usual you can you you read my exact feedback I'm giving to Pixonic with the test server forms and I think other than that it's just time to say thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more thanks for bearing with me you guys are awesome as always money gaming signing off bye bye